Yo, 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 it's ODB, our lifestyle podcast. Issue 44, Mini Truck and Magazine. You know the deal. Many of you have been here for a while. You've watched these. Thank you very much. If you're new, check out OLP, also known as our lifestyle podcast, via most podcast apps. We've got a special episode coming this Friday. We're three and a half years straight of episodes every Friday. Of course, we've been doing this six going on six, seven years, but check us out, OLP. We got Jeremy Bumpus coming on this Friday. He is the host of Car Fix TV on Motor Trend. So uh, I need to get new batteries for my light. So I'm not going to use the light this time uh, and it's getting dark. So I want to run through this one. Before we do hit up our lifestyle podcast, we do have a re-up of the aluminum signs. They are now online. Okay. Uh, these are pretty cool. We're the only people doing these. That ties into our Total Chaos artwork. These are the bigger signs. These are not online. The smaller guys are. Uh, but check it out. There's also merch. And you guys know the, the deal with Total Chaos. Love this truck. Colorado Custom Wheels. Colorado Custom Wheels. So let's jump in. This is the first issue with Colorado Custom Wheels on the cover. Courtney shot it. Awesome issue, a lot to, to kind of digest, including the third annual Cal Spring Truck Jamboree, okay? This truck is awesome, really love it. I believe these are the Cortez, if I remember correctly. Again, issue 44, August 95. Got the model on the cover. Spring California Truck Jamboree, you see there, Belltech. Good product placement. I've tagged them before in this cover. And uh, this is just a great issue, just a gem. Uh, getting into kind of really just a great period, as I've said numerous times, um, just a sweet spot with issues. You've got this uh, really cool Ford Ranger also featured. you got the TOC, also known as Table of Contents. Kind of go through here kind of slow. This should all be in 4K. It allows for you to kind of see, you got the new movement for the mini truckers party in Jacksonville. Craig Howard, uh, that is the name of the owner of this one. And you can see a little bit uh, info there, including they started adding the model's name here. Uh, stage one on the right here. So John Tondro and team, we've had them on. Stage one, obviously lots of history there. So you got Shartzis still doing the damn thing. And technically, I do want to mention this because it's been a couple weeks since I've done one of these. Technically, Stillwell is still the editor. So as I've mentioned before, I will cover when there's that transition. That'll be the first time uh, there's a transition from an editor to Shartzis. We're still a ways away from that. Kind of go through here in case anybody wants to read it. I guess it kind of went slow, but you'd read the left side and go down the right side. Right? So you got that. Godfather, rest in peace to Hal with the ad. Uh, many, of this, uh, many of these I'm sure that we've all went through back in the day. Dreaming, circling, cutting out, pre-Photoshop days, figuring out what we're going to get for the trucks. Dude, appreciate you guys again, always coming here, viewing, commenting, liking, subscribing. Appreciate y'all. A Pros S10. Tilt beds on the rise. A little different, obviously, but uh, pretty cool stuff. This is Tony Bacari, Lauderdale, Florida truck. I think those are the KMC wheels. Pretty cool stuff. I was showing Vic last weekend one of my uh, the only one of the only few Lowrider magazines I have, and we were talking about the early days of KMC. They kind of looked like the wheels that we just saw there. Hard body and soul. Ben who? Tempe A Z. Looks like a sow. Isn't it sow? Uh, pretty cool stuff, man. Love this one. Love the wheels. Love the color of the truck. Eventually, I'm going to get more lighting in here. I do have an addition that I've uh, added. Uh, if you follow me on social media, at BD94S10 or the big homie Tony Boss Bolin, B-O-S-S-B-O-L-I-N. 
uh, you know that uh, we installed a four-post lift here, and uh, that's over on the other side of my shop here at the house. I say shop. It's a garage, really. Hard body and soul, you see there. Kind of make it out more. But uh, I will uh, be getting some of the electric stuff done here, hopefully, in the next coming couple months. And then this thing is going to be lit up like a Christmas tree. Mini market. We've talked about this before. Pretty cool. You know, I'm sure many of you look through this stuff going, oh, damn, check this new shit out. You know, you talk about old school term of the week, what we sometimes do. I wasn't speeding officer. You know, you think back to those days when people had the little radar detectors that made the noise and, you know, we all had our Viper uh, style alarms or whatever you had. I don't think this one really ever took off in the mini world. But they covered it, obviously, because it was, you know, kind of tying in. Very similar to, I, I was, I've been listening to Lowest Common Denominator, LCD podcast, and they, I got to the part the other day where they were talking about the Ford Maverick, and they were kind of, you know, some of the guys were ribbing it a little bit, and uh, what's ironic is we're going to have Jeremy Bumpus on this week that built a sick Ford Maverick, and if you really look into why the mini truck isn't produced anymore, it goes down to the EPA. And it talks about the fuel economy. There's a big article that came out. Uh, Ford did a lot to be able to even bring the Maverick back as a, you know, quote unquote mini truck. And um, it, 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 bottom line is it goes down to fuel economy and e EPA stuff. So it's out there. Check it out. Uh, this thing is cool. It's got the Boyd, I want to say turbos. You know, it's cool when we had uh, Bill Hancock on one of our most downloaded episodes. He talked about billet wheel history. And you could see a lot of the cues from some of these wheels that, you know, came from kind of one main company that was making the wheels. And, you know, Boyd was obviously at the forefront. I recently got a super rare Boyd wheel. I think I posted a photo on our lifestyle podcast. Some of you saw it. It's a 15 inch wheel, I think. The guy had it labeled wrong. I knew it wasn't a, whatever he said it was, but it, the thing has never been out. It's got the plastic around it still in the original box. Pretty cool stuff. But it makes me think back to that era and how, you know, obviously things have have continued to go up in price and you know it's not it's not cheap to buy a set of wheels these days so definitely do your homework and then just know that you can go to Colorado Custom as an example and say hey I've got this old catalog I found this old photo here's a photo of a dude that had this six set of wheels I love very much like those and they can they will produce them if they're their wheels I mean, hell, I put a call out for some old school 16 rare wheels. And Frank from Diesel Wheels chimed in and said, yo, I won't make you some 16s for your dually, but I'll make you whatever you want, which I thought was cool. Those old school dually wheels are super hard to find. Like the stuff that was on, you know, crew cut back in the day when it was West Side, things like that. Super hard to find. So local finesse. I don't take anything away from clubs uh, like a local finesse that, you know, maybe they didn't have the most covers, but to me, it was just as important getting featured as it was on the cover, especially in this day, because I mean, some of these trucks are super sick and to be able to get a color spread like this uh, etched in, in history to me, awesome. Matt Parker from Killicali, back when all you needed was a couple of amps, little box behind the seat, you were ready to roll. This reminds me of the truck that was on the cover that we went through. Check out those hats, though. I know Diener would rock one of those from Lobros. Gold these days, gold. Not me. It is super nice in Florida. Hate to rub it into all of our northern followers of friends and family, but 
I had to get home, take off the jeans for work and throw on some shorts. It's going to be like 80 degrees, I think, this weekend in February. Crazy. Okay, Room to Roam. So this, this was a cool tech article. I don't talk a lot about the tech articles, but rest in peace. You see Sean Carlson's name there, Courtney Hollowell. Gaylord's Snug Top Stinger Pro Design. And you can see Sean there. Based upon the hair and the face, I would say that's that's Sean actually getting in there and you know he helped the magazine. I'm trying to see what shirt that is. But uh, pretty cool stuff, you know, walk through. One of the first two mini trucks I was going to buy when I was 15, getting ready to go to 16, I looked at a couple, and Chris Lopez was the guy that got me in mini trucks. He had a, a walk through with an 88 Mighty Max, and there was an Isuzu, a white one with a topper that was all cut out and had the walk through. And uh, I still think they're awesome. Blow through, walk through, you name it. Okay, so here is an epic truck. Craig Howard. Fresno, Kilikali. Awesome colors, great stance. Got the cool Beltec. And then look, sport truck. Pretty cool that they left that on. Simple trucks. My dad, I grew up riding an 88 Jimmy. Got similar dash style. All out minis. I think this was their only, I didn't look that in my database. I think this was their only cover as all out minis, probably a smaller crew. But how cool was that? Indoor photo shoot by Rest in Peace, Courtney Hallowell. You got color matched items. Not only color matched, but look, white control arms, sway bar. Saw so the yellow polyurethane Beltec or um, uh, bushings, probably energy suspension. Super, super clean. Dude, I'd still take this any day of the week. Any day of the week. Simply sweet. Epic times, epic truck. First truck on the cover. Uh, I've hinted at a little bit of this that I'll share more. Uh, pro uh, not probably. This year I'll share it. All of the, a lot of the breakdown that I've done for Mini Truck and Magazine, you can see Beltec there, boom, in the headliner. Uh, Colorado Custom came in very, 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 very close to the top for the number of cover trucks with Colorado Custom wheels. Michael and team continue to produce Colorado Custom. Remember, coloradocustom.com, my favorite wheel company. And I thought for a minute they were going to be number one with the amount of covers for mini truck and magazine only. That's what we're talking about now. And they weren't quite there. But if you think about their first cover, you know, we're talking about August 95, which I don't think I really reinforced earlier. I said issue 44. August 95. Dude. Dude. That's a lot of covers from 95 into 2014, you know? And if you think about it again, it's not like they had any say-so in it. They produced great wheels like the Hancock wheels. You know, when Bill was on, he talked about how popular those were. But, you know, it's they produced a great wheel. They had great customer service, and a lot of people bought them. Always been a fan of this one. Love the colors, wheels. You got the killer Nissan. You got the Mazda here. Always enjoyed seeing this show coverage from Cal Truck Jam because the colors, the colors, the colors, like even this yellow blazer, the two door, the killer Astro, the lifted with that topper dough. That was so different. The shorty, bring it back, y'all. Got that Hawaiian style that I've talked about recently. With those colors and just that overall style. But uh, again, uh, Cal uh, Spring California Truck Jamboree. That was the third annual. You see Craig Howard's truck there as well. That's on the cover. 
the famous Mazda, and then you have K Daddy at the time, of course, working at Cal. And uh, we've talked to him. So you got K Daddy here. Right? I th okay, maybe I'm wrong. This may not be K Daddy's. I'm trying to remember because his was a little bit different color. What gets me whenever I flip through this is I see this and I see this, and this is too many mods, right? And those colors just go together in my head. But Cal Concepts, obviously we've had K-Daddy on, and he's talked about the fate of his famous truck. Featured in Truckin', right? Back in the day, and by this time, it was probably already gone. Getting a little hazy out here, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But it is fun walking through, flipping through these. Um, I've recently picked up some some followers that have like really commented some cool stuff. Some people that have said, "Hey, man, go through everything you got." And believe me, you know I'm gonna jump over here real quick. You know, a lot of people have helped contribute to the sticker collection. Um, just different stuff over the years. I mean, there's a tailgate issue one never opened. This is one that I've had hanging in my office for years beyond reality, Ruben's truck. I mean, that's just a little dabble of of the amount of stuff that I've been able to acquire um, since my first trucking issue in the early 90s, just as a, a regular enthusiast reading. So believe me, we've got a lot to go through. Once I get the shop a little bit more nailed down, it's going to be a lot easier. Uh, I'm looking at the shirt here. Ain't nothing but a fear thing, right? Probably a no fear. That's back when we used to wear white shirts. You see the, the three dominant white shirts there. Uh, times have changed, you know, black. And I've got too many black shirts. Many of you do. But that's one reason why when we launch merch, we do it with different color shirts. People appreciate that. The Jade Dome, which I call teal, sometimes a white shirt. Go out to ourlifestylepodcast.com and check it out. We got metal signs, stickers, hoodies, zip-ups. You got to kind of look around and on the left side, what's pretty cool is you get a chance to see um, some of the, the kind of the curated uh, collections, right? So Total Chaos, Out of Air, River Run Remix. If you click on that, it'll bring in pretty much everything. I don't know about the metal signs because I don't know if Mike tagged those. But the metal signs have their own section too. This was cool because it was technically Glenn A. Wilson High School in Cali. So the Phantom Diamond. Pretty cool. I dig those wheels. And what's cool is if you've been reading magazines a long time, you can quickly pretty much look right to, oh, there's a number. Boyd Ball Pen Hammer Wheels. E -E -E -N. Street scene. Another one of my favorite sections. You see Courtney Hollowell on the left there with a photo cred. Texas tail. You got the side tilt tonneau. Oh, man. Just that basic front end, man. I was in love with the truck when I was 15. That was around here. That was maroon or reddish. With that same bumper and that grill for the GMC. Fire. Also, thanks to everybody that uh, watches all the way through, man. Much respect. Definitely appreciate you guys for doing that. It really counts. I mean, even if you're doing something at the house or you're at work and you can, you know, have a browser up where you could just let this stuff run. I mean, we need to get our minutes watched up. And that's why I'm trying to produce more content. I've got three or four in the can, so to speak, that I've got to edit from Eastbound Get Down, from just a couple of uh, local adventures, some cool stuff, uh, even putting the, the lift together. Look at that. What's in the CD changer? Black Flag, Run DMC, Raising Hell, Natural Born Killers soundtrack. Good rap song on there. Let's see if y'all know which one it is. So you saw this at the table of contents, a new movement. 
love those old displays. I'm hoping I can meet up with Bill Hancock. Last year, we had to peel out uh, mini nats, which is uh, towards the end of April this year, Maggie Valley, kind of the 23rd through the 25th-ish, right around there, that weekend. Uh, Bill lives not that far from there, and he was able to come up, Bill Hancock, Long time, a Colorado Custom employee. Again, one of our favorite, most downloaded, streamed episodes ever. He uh, came over to the show, I think, on Sunday, but we had already peeled out. So I'm hoping to link up with the big homie. Pan disc means bass. Bing, 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 bing. Bass, but bass, bass. Used to always play in my head. Minis, though. That's what Chris Lopez's truck. I need to find photos of it. His truck was a Mighty Max, and it had full stereo. I mean, dude, I was in love with that truck. And after I ended up getting my first car, I found out Chris was selling his truck for the same price I bought my first car, and I was devastated. I went to look at it, and I was trying to figure out how I could buy it. it didn't work out, but it's really what got me going, and that led to, I guess, this addiction. August 9-5. Issue 44. It's a good one. Colorado Custom Wheels. OurLifestylePodcast.com. Stay on the rise, y'all. Check out those metal signs, though. They're light. We don't refresh them but a couple times a year. And uh, they're sick. You can get some little uh, command strips, Mike calls them, from Amazon and stick them somewhere. Or someone's still in the wrapper. You know what I mean? OLP. ODB. We got you. Peace.